Welcome inside the film room in the Al McGuire Center on the campus of Marquette University. Marquette University men's basketball on campus this summer, preparing for a trip to Italy in August. And one of the most decorated freshman incoming classes in school history is here on campus. And Tracy Carter is part of that group. Tracy, it's been an interesting time for you. We're recording this on July the 15th. April the 15th, you put your pen to the paper and signed the National Letter of Intent. So that's been a quick three months. How has that three months been for you, Tracy? Um, it's been a, uh, it's been a, uh, it's actually been great, but uh, it's been fast with uh, learning uh, everything and getting used to everything, the system, things of that nature. As you said, going right from high school, coming right into college, it was a, it was a bit of a transition, but uh. Once I got used to it a couple of weeks, so it, it became good, it became fine. Tracy's a product of South Philadelphia. What is Philly toughness? Oh, um, <laughs> Philly toughness is just, it's toughness. I mean, it's, it's like we, we will sacrifice anything to get where we, get where we want to go, or get where we want. I know for you that was some work that you had to do. You had to be Philly tough, as we say it, because the summer heading into your senior year of high school, you were out with an injury. Yeah. That's a big time in recruiting. That's a big time in deciding where you're going to go next. What did you learn in that downtime before you became healthy and before you could go back into the recruiting process and get ready to play Division One college basketball? I think I learned how to uh, have more patience, patience with myself, and uh, just to be more calmer and collect. You're a point guard. You've played a point guard position throughout your career. Who's influenced you at point guard? What players did you look up to to influence your play? Um, Isaiah Thomas is my favorite player. So he influenced me, him and Chris Paul. What about Isaiah? What about Chris Paul? Um, like they said, they, they, they kind of have uh, the Philly toughness in them, especially even though they're not from Philly. But So that, that's what I like about them so much. One of the things, you have that toughness, but one of the things that you've done that's been so impressive coming into Marquette is you were a guy who started to set goals at an early age. You knew you wanted to come play Division I basketball, so you had to meet certain academic goals. You had to meet certain goals in your development. All that goal setting now coming to Marquette, uh, are things going to be a little bit easier, do you think, in your transition to college? Did that help you get here? Yes, uh, it did help me get here because it prepared me. It prepared me prepared you for an experience that's going to include a trip to Italy, and that's coming up in August. Tracy, uh, you said you'd been out of the country before. Panama was where you went. Tell us a little bit about that trip. Um, it was a great experience, uh, first of all. Um, and I was very blessed to uh, go on that trip. Uh, it was a trip to Panama for a missions trip. We did some missions, missions work over there. Uh, but in all, we were still able to have fun and experience Panama, so it was great. What are you looking forward to most about the trip to Italy? Um, to me, it's a business trip. Also, I'm still looking to have fun, but it's also a business trip to win over there. You know what I mean? Preparation is key, and this is preparing us for the season. It's a new time for you. You're in a new place. Do you have any goals for this coming season, Tracy? I have uh, one, to will our team to a win, to win the championship. I think that's just about what everybody wants in this program, and you're in the right program to try and move towards winning Marquette University, bringing in a decorated freshman class. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.